They are the darn it. What are you doing? <laughs> the Unicorn Brigade, and this is their special piece for you tonight. Opposite Christ Superstar. Here we go. I sent you 
feeling blue. How about my patented happy time mixtape? It's got Casey in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we haven't had that much success as superheroes, but I mean, we've been practicing, we're getting a lot better. I really think that this year is our year. Big things are going to happen for us. Yeah, yeah, you know what? And then we're going to have everything. We're going to have, we're going to have action figures, and we're going to have, we're going to have comic book deals, and it's going to be, it's going to be great! Exactly. Come on. Justice, Justice Dollars! Dollars! Woo! Ow! Damn it, what? Put it on your club. <laughs> Opposite Jesus. No need. Put one right there in the success column. Oh, well, that's right. You say it something. Believe it. Sure did. What happened? Okay, so I was walking down the street, you know, looking for unjust situations so that I could write, as usual. And I saw this guy, and he had that classic look of an alcoholic. I just knew it. But he's holding a bottle of Chardonnay in his hand, and I was like, oh no, I am not letting this alcoholic have an entire bottle of Chardonnay. So I went up to him, ripped my glove off, and slapped that bitch right out of his hand. Oh. Fell on the floor. He was a little bit devastated. Picked it up, tried to drink it, but of course, it had turned into water. Oh, get yes. out! Oh. So, stay out! Did he thank you? No, he was quite hostile, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he even threatened to crucify me. <laughs> How did you get out of that? Well, I'm opposite to Jesus. I don't fall for that kind of thing. <laughs> Not so much solved for me, but, uh, 
I hear that. Around 12 o'clock today, I get a call on the old uh, justice phone. Scotiabank down on like King Street is being robbed. You know, we yeah. have a lot of money in it. So anyway, bank robberies, they're high intensity situations. So I pull out my secret weapon, the mellowest mixtape known to man. I start with a little bit of Michael Bolton's classic time-loving tenderness. I follow it with some Yanny, and if I'm feeling adventurous, maybe a little Kenny G. Not a goddamn person in that building has a tape deck. I walk up the street to Digital World. I punched a cashier in the face to get one, brought it back to the bank, and they had shots and hostages before turning the gun on themselves. So I went home and listened to 80 minutes of Skinner. It was a good time.
really busy as well, I can tell. So, you know, I'll, I'll see you Keep it real. Damn it! That was the perfect suicide mixtape. It had everything! Radiohead, The Cure, John Denver. <laughs> if he'd have listened to that thing once, he would have offed himself like that. Refresh your drinks, be back in about five, six 